Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the collective for all signs for February 18th. Sorry, February 19th, 2020. Um, we have entered into Mercury retrograde and I'm also completing your um, new moon in Pisces readings for all signs, so make sure to check those out. Um, I have added new content to this page or to this channel. I am um, doing now uh, almost weekly readings, but they're according to the lunar cycles. So you guys are going to get new moon readings, full moon readings, um, waxing moon readings, and waning moon readings. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, and be sure to check all of those out as well. I'm just going to ask that while I'm doing this reading, you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. I can also hear the bird calling me. It's almost time for her dinner. So I do apologize for any distractions in advance. Um, but most of all, guys, I just want to thank you guys for listening and all the love and support that you show my channel. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into this reading. I'm using the after tarot, which takes the regular image of the ordinary even call them ordinary. The images that we're accustomed to from the Rider weight deck and then what would happen after, like the next minute or a few seconds after, you know, the regular images. So sometimes the intuitive hits that I get from the cards um, might be slightly different than what we're used to. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's get into this reading. What messages does the collective all signs need to hear for February 19th, 2020? I bet you guys are hearing loads of readers complain about Mercury retrograde. It does kind of mess up our words and communication and things like that. But remember, it's a time of second chances and it's something beautiful, not something to be feared because the last thing we want to get into is some fear-based thinking. Okay, so just keep that in mind, you guys. All right, so messages for the collective, February 19th, 2020. Here we are. Three of, Pentacle, three of Pentacles, King of Wands in reverse, Six of Pentacles, boom, Queen of Swords. You know, I like what I'm seeing here. Um, your overall energy is the Ace of Wands. I even like it more <laughs> now that I've seen this overall energy. This is fire energy. This is passion. This is a huge green light. This is fertility. This is abundance. This is you calling in something really magical and really powerful. Um, underneath that, we have the Hierophant. There's a Taurus person involved or it's some sort of contract, some sort of commitment. Maybe you're committing to you and your higher self. Maybe you're finally committing to your exercise and diet routine. Routine. Maybe you're getting married. I feel like some of you are also, you know, signing contracts at work or maybe just got offered a contract for like a singing or, um, singing or some sort of artistic career here. Underneath that, we have Virgo energy with the Hermit. Um, that's all about, you know, using your guiding light and your intuition. This hasn't been an easy journey, but it's one that you've come to on your own. You may not have asked for help. It may have been you doing all of this inner work and maybe going against the grain for a bit as well. Okay. And that really sort of bringing you, you know, bringing you and helping you manifest what it is you're going for. Underneath that, we do have the three of wands in reverse. The three of wands in reverse is all about growth. It's all about expansion. Some of you might have been waiting and you might have felt like you're giving up at certain times, but spirit is saying don't give up because something beautiful is just around the corner. Underneath that, I have the nine of wands. I love this. This is the after tarot. This is saying you are not alone. You might be feeling like you want to give up. You might be feeling like your ships are never going to come in, like you've been working on it. You've been trying to manifest and you're just not getting anywhere. But the the universe is saying mm -mm, you are don't you worry but just don't give up and you are not alone you are either going to be meeting like-minded souls this could be family this could be a relationship this could be someone part of your soul tribe that's going to help you redirect your energies somebody who's also going to help you give pause relax maybe even tell you something that you needed to hear that's going to help you along on this journey again more Sagittarius Leo and Aries energy now, I love this because we've got hard work and collaboration coming out with the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and this is the artist. Now, normally he's taking a step back to take and take a look and see where he can improve his sculpture or the work or whatever he's working on. He has now completed it, and he's looking at it, and he's going, 
Damn, that is good. So this is your energy, you guys. All of this hard work that I was picking up on this in your overall energy, you guys are going to be happy, you're gonna be proud, and you are going to be rewarded for it. Now, you do have the King of Wands showing up in reverse. This is Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy. The King of Wands can be very passionate, very fiery, very sexual energy. He's somebody who, um, he, he's kind of somebody who wants to run away from it all. And I feel like Spirit says that, is saying to me, and I feel like I'm seeing with you guys here, this was you at one point. You really wanted to give up. You thought, you know what? I'm just, why? I'm just banging my head against the wall. I'm doing all of this work. I'm not getting where I want to go. And you know what? I'm about ready to throw the towel in. I'm about ready to run off. I want to travel. You know, F this. I'm out of here. And spirit is saying, you didn't. You didn't, and this is, I, I'm not getting this as another person. I'm not even getting that you're dealing with somebody like this and you are going to be rewarded. The Six of Pentacles is some sort of money coming to you. This is some sort of gift, some sort of reward for all of your hard work for the finished product. And you know, and some of you, I mean, some of you may have had to turn away from conventional ways of making money. Some of you, this might be the first time you get paid for a creative endeavor, for your art, for your music, for your poetry, for your performance, okay? Or maybe even, you know, even doing tarot readings or something like that. But I see here that this is some sort of gift somebody here is giving you. And it's not a gift. It's an exchange of energy. And this is you sticking it out creating a beautiful finished product that people appreciate and that you're going to get paid for. I absolutely love this energy. You guys, Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming out. And I feel like you guys are going to come out on top, the Queen of Swords. Your emotions are going to be in check. You're going to finally realize, like you're going to see the path. You're going to see your true self. You're going to see and feel like, wow, I am my authentic self. I actually did it. I feel like this Queen of Swords is so proud. And this could be energy around you. It could be parents. It could be your loved ones. It could be your partner. But people that saw you wanting to give up and you never giving up and seeing how you guys have transformed through that. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And I love how this sword, you know, this sword is not protecting her heart at the moment. Okay. This sword, she's looking up, she's saying, thank you. She's being grateful, but she's also, it's like, oh my gosh, I did it. I almost get the feeling of some of you dropping onto your knees, you know, after winning a race, you know, something like that and feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm, it's time for celebration. This card is not normally a card of celebration, but I see you celebrating in my mind's eye. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm picking up. You're being rewarded for all of your hard work. You're, re you're being rewarded for not running away for committing to this even when times were tough even when people maybe said you know what the hell is he or she doing and you you know in the end you you feel balanced and yes you're emotional and excited and happy but in the in your heart of hearts you know wow, I worked for this. This is not something that was handed to me. You know, this is this hasn't been easy. And I see you taking a real cerebral analytical approach to looking at this and seeing how things manifest in your life. Really, I'm just really excited for you guys. I have this really like high energy coming into this reading caretaker. Absolutely love it. I feel like you are taking care of others. Um, and I feel like, you know, that was part of the reason why you pushed through. But I think more than anything, you know, spirit and your maybe it could be, I feel like you had a lot of support from people around you. And if it wasn't people around you, um, because I do get you did this on your own, but I do feel like that there were people that were quietly supporting you and, you know, maybe for a friend or your loved ones or, you know, your partner that was like, you know what, babe, keep doing this. You're going to be just fine. Or mom, you can do it. Don't worry. We'll be fine while you go to school at night. And I feel like you, you know, I feel like the six of pentacles is that, is that caretaking energy. It's like finally who you who've been taking care of everybody else is now going to be taken care of, but it's also through your hard work and, you know, this achievement that this is happening. All right. Um, and then we have love. Yes. I love this. You know, for a lot of you, I'm not picking up on this being a romantic relationship, but I think that love is what got you through. I think your unconditional love for whatever it is you're doing, especially if it's an artistic or creative endeavor, I think love for your family, I think love for yourself. 
Okay, I think working two jobs. I'm feeling, I feel like some of you are out there working two jobs and you guys, you're, you're getting some sort of success and some sort of recognition here, you know, and you're realizing how worth it you are and you're realizing how much, you know, you love yourself and then other people are just, you know, I feel like there's just so much unconditional love going around right now with this energy. And I feel like people love what you guys are producing. And here we have divinity. Look, the queen of swords, it's like I'm getting this acceptance speech. You know, the first thing, you know, people do when they, you know, they get, a, they win an award. They're like, the first thing I want to do is I want to thank God. I feel like that's you guys. I feel like you're in this position where you're, you know, thank you. You know, I, you know, thanking the divine, thanking your friends and your family and all your support. I mean, some of you have, this is an actual reward award that you guys are getting. Sorry, you guys, I know I warned you it was dinner time and she'll be, <laughs> I'll feed this is baby and she's just being a brat. It's time for dinner. So I'm going to, I'm. I do want to finish this reading though, because it's absolutely gorgeous. So with this divinity card coming out, and I do apologize for those of you who might've been wearing headphones. She comes right up to my door and started screaming. <laughs> uh, it's really funny. She like walks across the house excuse me, to do that. So anyway, this divinity card, this has been divinely guided. I feel like you're thanking God. And this is, this is all part of your journey. This was all meant to be. All right. So let's go ahead and pull two additional cards before I go and feed the bird. And again, I do apologize, but this reading was so awesome. I didn't want to stop. I don't want to stop it and restart it. All right. That's what I get, you know, for ignoring her name is baby for ignoring baby. <laughs> funny she marched right up to my door and started screaming that's so funny okay so additional messages for the collective february 19th 2020 okay you guys are getting the unexpected blue moon four and three breaks down to a seven seven is a divine number this is your spiritual path but this is something that you didn't expect i feel like you know you got so used to not getting what you want or sort of got stuck in that feeling of like this is never really gonna come through for me yeah and she's agreeing with me she's like yeah my dinner is never gonna happen <laughs> um you know this is never gonna come through for me and then boom wham this huge huge gift from the universe, but really it's not a huge gift from the universe. This is something you guys have put a lot of effort into. You've put a lot of work into this, whatever it is. Yep. And baby agrees. Okay. And then we have fruition harvest moon 37. That's a 10. That's you guys manifesting. This is abundance. This is everything you've been working for. Your patience is totally paying off. You guys absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely love it. All right, I'm going to pull an additional card for the collective, February 19th, 2020. Let's see what baby has to say, if anything. She's sitting right here on my shoulder as I'm doing this reading. And you know what? She just had to be part of this. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead. Final message for the collective, February 19th, 2020. Green Tara, start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Yeah, so I feel like for some of you as well, this might be like you needing a manager. You, you know, getting some success here. I think you've been working really hard doing it all on your own. And, you know, I think there's a good amount of success here that you're going to have to actually have people help you either with the media aspect or with, you know, public relations or to overlook, you know, contracts. Remember we are in Mercury retrograde. So any contracts that you receive or that you have to sign, I mean, it's always best to not sign contracts during Mercury retrograde, but again, when they have to be signed, just go over everything with a fine tooth fine tooth comb. So it might be contacting a lawyer or an accountant or something like that. But you guys, this is a beautiful message for whom, whomever this is intended. Um, I appreciate your, you know, your patience with me and baby. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I think it was well worth it. And again, I apologize for your eardrums for those of you who might've been listening to this in, um, in headphones. All right, you guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, thank you for listening. And, uh, I'm going to go make baby's dinner. All right. Love you guys. <laughs>